guys, come over here quickly. There's a lot of tension on that court. <laughs> hey everybody, it's John from the boy. Sorry for the wind noise. It's like a blizzard. Um, it's like I'm being in a snowstorm, except it's sand. So, uh, welcome to this issue. Special assignment. I know I haven't been doing any running lately. I'm hoping my kid is here. Dose of prednisone. I'm hoping to get him back on track. It is windy. I'm hoping to get him back on track. The waves are amazing. And they're getting stuck with this. What would normally be snow. And the truck is winching it out. So, uh, we're on Cape Cod in the island. Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket. There's, uh, there's a lot of wildlife and uh, marine life, of course. So you can a lot of times go on whale watching cruises and expeditions. They're a lot like going on a safari, I would imagine. A safari in Africa, you see in the natural habitat. Um, you know, and something happened recently, though, that doesn't happen very often, and we had a beach beached whale. And the whale died. And uh, this is uh, less than a mile from where I've been showing you the waves and the water in Mataket, which is the uh, western side of the island. And um, so I decided to come down and take a look at it. I, it's a little bit morbid, you know, I mean, but it is part of life that uh, these animals do die. And so this is a 40-foot whale. There's a lot of people up here looking at it, and uh, I can see birds hovering around it. It's decomposing. It's been there for a while. And Monday, the, the team of marine life and natural resources and you know, the people that take care of such things are going to come and, I don't know, do whatever they do with the whale. So uh, as I struggle to walk on the sand, this is like tundra, and the wind is crazy. The sand's blowing. Look at that surf. It's wild. Wild. Actually. So anyway, hopefully you can hear me. And uh, when we get up here by the whale, I'll show you. One special assignment. Okay, you going to leave it out here until it rocks? Huh? You're just gonna leave it out here until they rot? No, Monday they're coming for it. Coming for? Yeah, the Marine. So what they just throw back in? No, they'll uh, take it and analyze it. Okay. They'll do an autopsy on it. This, uh, this is actually a calmer place now. I'm about uh, four miles from the beach. And uh, actually at the spot, this is a dirt trail. This was the last place I did my six mile run. It was a month ago today, um, after running this trail, that I got injured. And so I thought I'd stop here and record. I'm gonna um, try and run tomorrow. Just a little bit, two miles, maybe just a mile, to see how it feels. It's been a month, and I've been on medication to reduce swelling for a Morton's neuroma. We're still hoping that uh, I don't have a little stress fracture in my foot. I guess time will tell on that. So, uh, but anyway, I just thought I'd stop here because I'm going to hopefully start tomorrow uh, rehabbing. And, well, I've been rehabbing. I'm getting back to a regular running routine no matter how limited it might be. So I've been keeping up with the bike and I've uh, been enjoying that. But anyway, I wanted to show you that uh, whale just because I hope you don't think it was weird. Um, you know, it's, it's part of the process of life, obviously, and when you live in the middle of an ocean, 
uh, we're 30 miles out to sea. Uh, there's uh, these whales live out here, and it's kind of like uh, we're in their natural habitat. This isn't a zoo. This is just where they live. And they come up here in the summer and they feed on plankton and get fat, and then they go south in the winter to warmer waters, and then they get skinny, and then they come back up here to feed again. So it's part of the process there. But the whale was uh, interesting to say the least, and uh, I just hope that. Uh, you took it for what it was uh, intended, which was just a little glimpse into Mother Nature. And, uh, you know, all things great and small. But uh, it was amazing. That windstorm was just like being in a wind, uh, in a nor'easter. That sand was blown around. You'd think it thought it was snow. It was like walking in the snow. And that was quite a, quite a workout in itself, walking about maybe a half mile down the beach to, to get to where the whale was. So that's it for tonight. Uh, you know, I hope everything's going great for you. I've got an artist over here painting a, a scene little uh, scene everywhere you turn here on Nantucket it really is a postcard which you know you kind of become numb to it a little bit which is unfortunate but uh, it is a beautiful place so uh, hey I don't know how I'm gonna be uh, updating my blog from this point you know run New England is turning into you know I've been on Nantucket for a long time there's only so much to see and do here and I think we've kind of done that so I don't know I don't know what the future holds for the blog but you know, I do appreciate all the people that tune in to watch and look, and it's amazing how people from France and Bulgaria, Malaysia and Russia, and uh, of course the United States, but England and all around the world, tune in to watch my silly little thing here, and now I sound like Steve Runner, I know, but, uh, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I hope you've enjoyed some of it. And we'll, I'm not giving it up, I guess. I just don't know where to take it from here, so uh, I don't get a lot of comments compared to the number of visitors I get. So uh, feel free to leave me a comment whether you'd like to see more of the same or something different or anything else I can bring you um, from my little viewpoint on a rock 30 miles out to sea. So uh, from Nantucket for now, um, it's John from the Poi saying see you later. Keep training and I'll talk to you later.